Metro Sunday reacts after Unilag students protested against incremental school fees from 19,000 naira to 190,000 naira. Man, this is a very bad one, I tell you. How can you increase school fees from 19,000 to 190,000? Just because the Tunisian government promised to give uh, student loans to students. Even the loan, they have not seen it. The institution they want to establish, they have not seen it. All the schools have gone to start increasing the uh, 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 school fees. Why not wait? Let the money come out first. Eh? This country now, wow. You've not seen the money. Even the students have not even seen the money. You're already increasing your school fees to take the money from them. Eh? So where is the money? Now the money is not forthcoming. People have not collected it. So where are they going to see money to pay this new school fees regime now that has been created? This is very very terrible so the students have been reacting and have been protesting and they've sent police to go and shoot at them there at the Unila campus but i just hope that they've not killed anybody yet because i know that police went there and were shooting sporadically okay so show sunny the nigerian senator uh social media influencer and activist has accused reactions uh, has caused reactions on social media after taking to his official social media page s account formerly known as twitter to make a post to react after students of the university of Lagos state protested against the hike in school fees according to multiple sources the tuition fees was increased from 19,000 naira to 190,000 naira Joe Sani commended Unilag students for standing against the increment in the school fees and he urged other students from other higher institutions whose school fees have been increased by the school management to emulate Unilag uh, students. And while reacting to the news, he wrote, Unilag students' protest against the hike in school fees is commendable. Students from other higher institutions across the country facing the same situation should emulate them exactly they should emulate them the tune is just too much however his social media post has stirred massive reactions from random social media users in nigeria with many taking to the comment section to react kindly okay we'll look at the reactions that has come from some people as somebody said i agree with you solidarity and collective actions can lead to positive change uh, so it shows any government trying to share palliative, okay, um, with their right hand and collecting it back in their their front, in their pocket with their left hand. It is somehow parents, students, management, government, everyone has a reason or two to defend this. Uh, the government need to do something about it. Government is trying to share palliative with right hand and collect it back from their pocket with left hand. It is somehow not good enough. Great Nigerian students, there must, there must be a Nigerian student hailing these fellow students there. Okay, and this action is highly commendable. It is just too bad that Tunubu promised student uh, loan. They have not even seen it, and the schools are already increasing school fees. It doesn't make sense. Students are facing many challenges in this country, exactly. It is just too much and too bad. I agree with you, solidarity and collective actions can lead to positive change, and that is what somebody is saying there. Okay? It is just very, very bad in this country. Now, even the one that the 19,000 are paying, a lot of people are not able to pay. Parents are losing jobs. The economy is very bad. Political system is very bad. The economic system is very bad. Now, the government are not even funding the institutions very well. I know that Unilag is a federal government uh, university. Okay? Now, what is government doing to fund that school? What is the VC doing in that school with government to improve that school? Nothing, nothing significant. Okay? Students are struggling to come to school to finish their education. Even the education service is mad with prolonged strikes just because the government cannot pay uh, the ASU the, what they are demanding. Okay? Now, the government, the same thing, he removed subsidy without thinking 
and then remove and then did another floating uh, exchange rate floating without thinking has also gone to announce uh, uh, issue of student loan to students without thinking and up to now they have not seen the student loan even the palliative for removal of first subsidy the people have not seen it as well not have been given Lagos State went and packaged the Jebugari in a in a small small circuit and give to people and call it palliative and now that case is closed down now that money they gave them is gone a Tinubu promised to give each state five billion naira to handle to handle the palliative issue some students some states are saying they have seen only two billion so just like anambra state is saying that they have seen only two billion out of the five billion so what is apc doing what is the government doing we are creating more hardship for everybody in this country both old and young even students now right now students can go back to school that a lot of parents will not see money to give students to go back to school that is the truth any student that goes back to school now that can feed very well all that students will prey on on him or her because that means that side is good okay so it is a very bad situation that we have found ourselves in nigeria and so you don't have to make people suffer beyond um what they can bear because if they do they will resort to self-help and that self-help can be anything it can be criminal it can be anything and there's nothing you do about it i believe you me this september uh, more than half of students will not be able to go back to school both primary schools, secondary schools and higher institutions it's going to be very terrible and what does that mean you're going to have a lot of school dropouts you're going to have a lot of drug addicts you're going to have a lot of yahoo plus boys you're going to have so many things people are going to do so many things to make money and not going to school again because it looks like going to school in nigeria does not pay anymore even the ones that have already graduated they don't have job they don't have business okay how can somebody finish university even private university for that matter only to come and be an uber driver or a boat driver that is even on the glorious side of it some are riding keke some are just have joined agbero because it looks like agbero is where the money is no matter how rough it is so it is a very bad situation that nigerians have slided into and the government is just thinking that uh, they're hitting the ground running that is not how to hit the ground running it's a very terrible situation that you have put everybody in nigeria and you can't continue like that we just can't continue like that so now sunny has reacted has commended lagos state university uh uh sorry unilag university of lagos students okay university of lagos students from protecting uh sorry for protesting and also encourage other students across the federation in which the institutions have also increased fees to emulate the same thing and protest because we can't continue treating people like this it's quite unfortunate really 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 unfortunate and unbearable and unacceptable so thank you for listening and let's have a comment in this regard